Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Friday. Happy Friday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going amazing. Got up. I've had a cup of coffee. Sat outside with Greg. It's kind of like, the, it reminds me of the mountain where the, the cloud was in the mountain and it was like foggy outside. That's how it's looking today. I'm like, hmm, hopefully the sun will come out. I think it's supposed to and burn off some of that fog. But we set out, had some coffee. It's just nice having that weather change and the time a little bit. I know this weekend is time change, so it's like already getting lighter earlier so you know at 6 30 in the morning it's light outside where it wasn't just a few weeks ago so we enjoyed that i'm off i'm like i need to start my food i have to run brooklyn to work in a little bit so i'm like do i start do i not i'm like let me start with something so that's what i'm gonna do yesterday was a great long day longest day ever i feel like after making food in the morning shopping all afternoon coming home and making more like finishing up the food I was just done by the nighttime, so um, went to get some good sleep last night and woke up today feeling much more refreshed. Now I'm like, I have things to do. We got piles of clothing to, you know, figure out what we're gonna do with put away. I'm like, we ended up with a lot of stuff yesterday. I was very happy because when you're shopping and like I saw stuff for like, like Jensen's sometimes hard to buy for, like just because he likes a certain style, a certain thing. And so when I was looking, like I think we bought, we moved here last year. So I bought him a lot before we moved here because I found all his clothes. And then he was good until winter, winter. And then I started looking for stuff and couldn't find really anything. And I was very highly disappointed. And I was like, oh my goodness. So then I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I ended up buying like a little bit bigger size ones and they fit, but they didn't. Then he's going through like, you know, teenage growth. So then he gets a little bit skinnier and so then things don't fit as well. So I'm like, okay. So I was so glad yesterday to find what he loves and I ended up getting a lot of them. And I'm like, oh my goodness, we ended up with a ton. So I'm like, hmm, I was talking to Greg. I'm like, so do I return some? He's like, well, last year it was really hard finding those. And I'm like, you're right. So I think today I'll go through their different, um, he likes a certain kind of shorts. And so there are different brands. I thought maybe I'll have them see which ones are a little bit bigger, which ones fit him perfectly now and kind of put the ones that are a little bit bigger, kind of set them up so they stay nicer. And he's got a lot of shirts. He ended up with a lot of t-shirts yesterday. So again, he's one hard to find for. So I was thankful for that. And Steve and I ended up getting um, some shirts for him. I still need shorts for him. So I need to go look. Didn't really find the ones I wanted. So again, just have to look. And then Greg's clothes worked out really good. Autumn's worked out great. So it was, it was good. It was good overall. I got a few things for the house, which I'll show you. I showed it a little bit in the video, but maybe I'll put all that away and then show you that eventually. But today's food. I'm like, that's my goal focus. The girls cleaned up last night. So everything's picked up in the kitchen. I'm like, I just need to start my food. And like, I'm excited. I want to do some meals for the weekend. I'm like, what do I do? You know, I've got all those. I want to deep fry like and make egg rolls. I want to make uh, sweet sour chicken with the, is it called tempura batter? But I have a um, deep fryer coming and it's a bigger one. You guys told me to get that. I didn't want to originally get a big one because I was like, it was 40 bucks for the smaller one. And I was like, are we even gonna love it? Am I gonna think it's gross and disgusting? Well, no, since I have a house and I can be outside, it's so much nicer to deep fry here than it was like in the mountains and stuff. And so you deep fry outside, the bears start coming to your house because they smell all that food. So anyways, love doing it here outside so got a bigger one Greg got a bigger one for me that hopefully this week will be here so I'm like I didn't want to deep fry anything and I'm like obviously we need to eat I need to use up some bigger things in my freezer so I'm like what do I do so I've got um we're gonna do a bunch of food a bunch of food I'm just gonna start making it get it done and be good to go but what first I want to do is your encouragement for the day yesterday I did it later in the day I should have done it earlier my apologies so my encouragement for you today is from Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want and then so you look at that and you think hmm all those things you think about is it wrong to think about things you want no it's not wrong to think about things you want that verse pertains to isn't it good to know that God takes care of all your needs your needs your basic needs like you don't have to worry about being fed you don't have to worry about your clothes you don't have to worry about where you lay your head God does take care of those needs when you put your trust in him so that's a good reminder on that so isn't it a good thing to know that like you can look to God to provide those needs for you ponder that think about that for a minute it's like there's somebody bigger not your spouse even though he may provide the income not your whoever's taking care of you but knowing that your boss whoever's paying your bills know that God will take care of your needs I think that's a beautiful great comforting reminder and so then your reflection is to think about ways that God has provided for you unexpectedly and I know I have so many 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 times and I know I've read lots of stories where people say they you know were wanting needing something and then like just all of a sudden someone dropped off stuff randomly to their house or this showed up randomly or whatever the situation was. I know in my own life I can do the same thing where times where I was like, okay, I only have so much for groceries. What am I gonna do? And then boom, out of a sudden, I was able to find something really cheap or I was able to do this or just find just different things in my life. And I'm like, thank you, Lord, for those. It's like, he provides for that. And it's like, you go, okay, thank you. You can look to him 
for your thankfulness. So today's action step for you today is to thank God for his provision in your life. Sometimes that's hard to do. Like I know a lot of people, you know, have gifts and graces and things in their life and it's sometimes they forget to like thank God for those. Thank God for those provisions. Like constantly have that heart of gratitude. Like thank you Lord for food. Like it may be a lot to do meal prep for your family. It is, it is, it is. It may be a lot to wash 10,000 dishes. It may be a lot to take care of your home or take care of your kids. But if you can stop for a minute and look at your life and go, you know what, God, thank you for clean running water in my house so I can wash all my dishes and not worry about disease. Thank you for all of this food. Even though it's taking me a long time to prepare, thank you for allowing me to have it so I can prepare it for my family. Or thank you, Lord, for my children that are healthy and strong and, you know, look at the, having that gratitude. Even if your situation is not perfect, you may not have perfection in areas. We don't, not all of us, none of us do. But if you can look at it and go, all right, let me see the blessing in that. That's the beauty for you today. So the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. All right, first thing today, what am I going to show you today? Today we're going to make a good old famous, it's not famous, three months famous, fajita meat. <laughs> This to me is something I will never buy again. There's been certain things like the chicken patty sandwiches. I will never buy chicken patty sandwiches again at the store ever, ever, ever. I hope to never. I hope that I don't ever have to be in that situation where I have to buy them. And if I do, that's okay. Like if I have to because life threw me a curveball and you know what, I had to have some quick, easy meal, then, then you know what, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I, I hope to never because they're so good homemade. So chicken fajita meat is another one that I hope to never buy because it's so simple to make. So I want you to make this too because it is so easy to do. It's a little bit of prep, but once the prep is done, you get so much meat for the price. Like I think of the little package of chicken fajita meat that I get at like Sam's Club. It's crazy, ridiculously expensive. It's great for quick meals. We did a whole lot. Yes, we did. But after having it more and more, I'm like, okay, the chicken's kind of yuck, or it's kind of rubbery, or it's just kind of this, or there's not much in there, and you kind of you know, have to cut it and stretch it. Well, you can make your own for so, so cheap. So the key is gonna be your marinade and your flavors. The key to anything in life for food tasting is the spices and what you add to it. That is gonna make things more tastier. If you want very plain, go ahead. But ha like that's how you make delicious meals. I think of like, we went to, um, an, I think it was an Amish restaurant, I don't know if it's Mennonite or Amish restaurant, the Yoder's restaurant, and like everybody raves about their food. They have a, um, they also have a Dear Dutchman, I think is the name, it's a buffet. And it's like a Mennonite buffet. I think it's, it's a Mennonite. Mennonite and Amish can be very similar, just depending on things, but they cook all the same way. They cook all the same way or most of them do. And I think everybody raves about how great their food is. And I said, it's because they add flavoring and they add all this delicious stuff to it to make it taste good. That's the key. <laughs> it's not plain with no spices. It's because they flavor everything so it tastes so good. You know, they may add chicken bouillon to their mac and cheese so it's delicious or they just add more spices to something to make it more. And that is that is the key to everything. I'm so thankful that I learned to cook from a Mennonite because otherwise my food I feel like would be very plain. But so that is the key to delicious, yummy tasting food is the flavors, marinade. So for chicken, what I have for chicken, this was in my freezer because I got back from shopping and I did not want to, I didn't even film cutting this up. So what you do is I took my chicken breast, all the chicken breasts I got from Sam's Club, I guess, a uh, case of it there. And all I did this time, the chicken, did you get it in a case? I don't know, the chicken seemed to be a whole lot better. Like most of the breast, I didn't even have to pull the little vein thing off. You know how I despise that, it's so gross. So this was so good. So I just kind of cut the, like flatten these, what I did is I, I took my chicken breast out and I've done it before in videos where you lay it on your cutting, or your, I had a little cutting board and I put a piece of wax paper and I just pound it flat with a rolling pin. So make it flatter. You can do it bigger, but when you flatten it, I don't know what it does to it, but it just makes it easier and maybe it breaks down something, some scientific thing, I'm sure. So that is what I did. So that is what I have right here is two huge bags of chicken. These will break down to like probably four huge bags of fajita meat. I might just do five. I might stretch it out because there is an awful lot of chicken in my bags when I'm done. And the key is gonna be your marinating sauce. So what I'm gonna do is open these up. I wanna get this done right away because I'm gonna be leaving and heading out the door and then I can make other things today. And this can marinate for a while. You wanna marinate, you should let it marinate overnight, but you know, if life happens like mine and uh, you didn't, then that's okay. So let me uh, set this here. So you're gonna add olive oil and I do um, lime or lemon juice to it. So for me, Figure, nothing is exact. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Nothing has to be exact on any. Should I do it in a bowl first? Let me do that. And let's do it right here in the measuring cup. So I'm, then I, then I can give you some measurements. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup of olive oil. Okay, then I have lime juice. 
I think I have enough for another half a cup of lime juice. So there you go, half a cup. And then your spices. Your spices you wanna add is paprika. Aim for about a teaspoon of each spice. So I've got paprika, I've got garlic. <gasps> That's not good. No. All right, so much for that. I have to wash that garlic. And then chili powder. Like I said, add a teaspoon of each one. I'm gonna pour it in the lid, whatever that is. Hopefully it's a teaspoon. And then I've got oregano. And then I've got cumin. So add that in here. Okay, then I'm gonna do salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. There is your spices. There's plastic in there. So this is gonna be for one big bag of meat. Now something else I'm gonna add that maybe you don't need to. The other thing I'm gonna do is this is peppers and onions all chopped up. And the reason why I'm adding this to it is because when you make fajitas, you do like onions and peppers, right? Well, I'm not doing that because I didn't buy any. So I'm just gonna use what I chopped up in here. Stir that up. Okay, that is for one. Just pour that in your bag. Let's see this bag. Pour this whole thing in your bag, right there. That's one marinade. Close it up. And then you're gonna work that marinade all into the chicken, all around. Then you're gonna put this in your refrigerator. See that good colors and flavors in there? Oh yeah. You're gonna keep mixing this around. So like I see I have a frozen chunk right here. So I'm gonna make sure that I keep mixing that around to make sure it coats everything. So let me make another one for this one. Now you wanna know if your spices are good. Mix this up and taste it. Don't let it, st if you stop stirring it for a minute and then dip your finger and you're just gonna get the, um, the lemon because it went to the top. I use lemon for one and um, lime for the other just because that's all I had. Either one I feel like is good. So just taste it and go, does that taste good? Does it need more of something? And so you can always taste your stuff and go, okay, like this is good. It's not gonna obviously be like, oh, it's amazing, just the dip on its own, but it's gonna make your stuff taste really good. So then put that on your chicken. Okay, I'm back. Didn't know I was gone. Dropped Brooklyn off, came home, saw little alligators. We have uh, lakes in our neighborhood, and so sometimes you see the alligators laying on the shoreline, just lounging away, but today they're out in the water, swimming away. I'm like, that's so weird. So I'm on my excitement for the morning. So let's start making the angel biscuits. I've got, um, that's where I'm gonna begin with right away. So my recipe, I'm gonna do two packages of yeast, which is two and a quarter. I guess I'll show you, right? I got a lot of mess going on here. Two and a quarter of teaspoons is like two, and a quarter is one package, so two and a quarter would be two packages. And then I'm just gonna stir this with this. Mix this in a quarter cup of warm water. You want your temperature to be like 115 to 120 degrees. Sometimes, I think one time a lady saw me doing it from my sink and I said, just use tap water. And she's like, don't do that, it'll kill your yeast. I guess it depends on how hot your water is. It, I, I forget, like I was like, I'll just use tap water. And I don't use tap water. If your thermostat is set for super high and your water gets really hot, yes, don't. So, you know, ours here, we don't have our set that high because I always, we always turn it down just because I don't want to burn their skin. It's still hot, but not like, you know, melt your fingers off. So right here, this is gonna sit, this is gonna prove. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up, um, is it two cups of warm buttermilk? Two cups of warm buttermilk. So I have got, I got a little bit more water here. You know, put it on a flat surface. What I'm gonna do is I've got this I bought at the store. This is great. I'm just gonna mix this up in here. You can, I've always, always used milk with vinegar added to it, made like that way. But I bought this, I don't know, does it make it different? Maybe. So what I'm gonna do is add this in here and then stir it up. Now I bought this last month and I've made did I make two times biscuits? I'm trying to think how many biscuits I made. Eh, I don't know, but I still have it this month. So this, and then just store this in the refrigerator. While well, that's doing its thing, let's mix up in a mixing bowl your dry ingredients. I'm gonna be adding five to five and a half cups of flour, looking at my recipe, a third cup of sugar, 
two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and then mix that up. Kind of see, should sift it. I'll just mix it, and then I'm gonna add, cut in one cup of shortening. <laughs> My favorite when you don't hit record, it doesn't show that. So I put it on the bowl. I'm just stirring it up. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna let that rise up once. I think last time I just made it, cut them out and let them rise then. I'm gonna let it rise in the pan and then I'll punch it down and I'll roll it out and make biscuits out of it. They're good. Angel biscuits are one of those things that biscuits you don't usually use the leavening agent, but it's got three of them in there with the yeast, the baking powder and baking soda and it makes it just, they're like light and fluffy biscuits. I don't mind regular biscuits, but I feel like light and fluffy is delicious. So then what I'm gonna do, so that'll take some time, it'll get done eventually. It'll get done eventually. So I'm gonna start on the sausage. This, I, I don't even have to mix any up. I, ha I bought new stuff for this month, but I had two more left over last month. I think I ended up making four packages of it, and um, we only used two. So maybe this month I'll remember to make more. So I think I, I rolled them, I did them in patties the first time, which was great, round things. And then someone said, just put in a pan and cut it. I'm like, genius. So I think that, um, and I can, I can make perfect round ones or square ones, I'm just thinking. So I'm thinking the smaller pan, and then I'll just do more of a chunk of meat. Isn't that, is that bad? I'm thinking so versus round ones because I made them round last time and then fried them. So I'm thinking this is gonna work. So just put them in the oven. I'm like, okay, we can do that. So I don't know, I think last time, so I've got this. These are delicious. I made this, I can't wait to make it again because it was that good. And then I think just push this. Is it gonna be too small of a pan? I think it'll be okay. And just smush it out. That'll be easy and let's cut it up. I think last time I did a lot thinner. So these will just be thicker and that's good, good. whatever you wanna do. But it smells so good. There's, this was really delicious. I can't believe I didn't make more of it, but everybody did like it. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do my eggs in a pan as well. I asked the kids, do you want it more like a cracked egg? And I would do that. I like, like when I go get my McDonald's sandwich, I like more of the cracked egg where you see the yolk in the white part, but they like it more scrambled together. So everybody's different. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh, the sun's coming out. I see the, the kitchen brightening up. I'm like, ooh, the sun's coming out. Good. Burn off all that stuff. So this is gonna be right here. This is simple. I'm just gonna push this out as much as I can. That's gonna be great because I can divide this up. That'll be a lot of sausage. I'm gonna put this in the oven. As we get the eggs done, let me crack eggs in the bowl. So again, key to good tasting food is seasoning. So add your salt, Oops. add your pepper. We like the garlic mix in here. It's just one of our favorites, so add that. And then mix it up. We don't, I didn't add, I used to add water or milk to this, but I'm just fine just doing the eggs is fine too. So just mix that and make sure that's mixed in there good. I have chives too, I'm gonna do some chives. I have green onions outside, I'm just gonna go get them, put them in here. So this is gonna be good, good flavor. And then I'm gonna just take a stick of butter and kind of kind of put on the pan as much as I can, kind of grease it. Sometimes I pour the eggs in before and put the pan in, but today I'm going to put the pan in and pour the eggs in after, because I feel like it's gonna be full. So that's a, a life hack to prevent spilled eggs everywhere. Okay, washed my dishes in the sink. I'm gonna refuse to put anything away today. We'll let the kiddos do that. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do, the bis the dough has risen a little bit. It hasn't like hugely because I want to get this part done so I can focus on something else. I didn't even let it rise last time, except in the pan. So this will be good. Nice and fluffy and delicious. So you're just gonna roll this out. I'm gonna cut it in circles, put it on a 
um, greased cookie sheet and it's good. So we've got these over here and these are gonna rise up till double. So I'm gonna put those in here. Got them covered right by the oven where everything is cooking. Eggs are cooking away. So is the sausage. Looking good. So what I'm gonna do is, I was just looking at my recipe and I'm like, I was gonna do flatbread tacos. That's something else I'm gonna do. I refused to buy the canned biscuits because it was like $1.80 a can. And I'm like, surely just make it myself. So I'm instead of doing the angel biscuits because I don't need to be risen because we're gonna flatten them anyways so what i'm going to do is just mix up this dough and then make them we'll either put them in a, we did them in a wall pot here and that's how everybody liked them i might do that I'll probably do that so this recipe is a little bit different this one is going to use cream of tartar i'm going to uh do this one so i'm going to mix up we're going to just do it right here in the mixing bowl i'm going to do four and a half cups of flour so put in four and a half cups three four Okay, I need to get my teaspoon. The one that's all wet. Okay, so this one we're going to use cream of tartar for this one. So let's do two teaspoons of cream of tartar. And then it's going to be baking soda. Two teaspoons of baking soda. And then it's going to be one and a half teaspoons of salt. mix this up here and then for this we're going to be cutting in half cup of shortening and just kind of you know use this and cut it in and then I'll be adding the buttermilk two cups of buttermilk in there mixing it all together so I'm going to get I'm just trying to think how am I going to do this so I do this in stages I'm like I'm just going to continue making the entire meal. This is gonna be a flatbread taco dinner. And so what we do with ours, usually I get the canned biscuits and I roll them out and then I flatten them. We used to cook them on like a griddle. Discovered doing them in your waffle iron, they love them. So they're a little bit easier, just throw them in, they can do their thing. And then you put sour cream with ranch, mix that up, that goes on your top layer. And then you take a mixture of hamburger, pinto beans and chili beans. So I've got hamburger cooking over here, that goes on next. And then you top it with shredded cheese, lettuce, salsa, whatever you want. They're delicious. They're really yummy. Basically a taco, but a little bit better. So I've got my dough here. So I'm, I'm gonna try. I don't like wondering. I'm like, do I? I don't even need to really cut them out. Can I just take a ball and kind of flatten it? So we're trying. We're doing the trial area here. So I'm going to um, spray my thing. And then what I'm gonna do is, I guess, take a ball of it. This is gonna be the key. So hold on. I think this makes 10 each, right? I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna try to do a ball and just kind of roll it. I don't know if that will smush it enough. I think, I mean, again, we're just, maybe we should just do one. Let's see if that like ruins it. Let's just do two. Okay, so two, and then let's smush it down. Let's see what it does. I feel like it's gonna cook. I need like a panini press thing. Those would be really fun. We used to have one, we used to have a sandwich maker. I think when we were first married, a sandwich maker. Greatest thing ever, basically big grilled cheese, but it would close your, it was like a waffle iron to close it. We'd always make sandwiches in there all day long. Is this gonna, I think this is gonna work. That is gonna work. So basically you're gonna do a bunch of these. Meat is gonna heat up and cook over here. Stuff is going in the oven. It's a great, great day. Sun is coming out. Mm. Burn up those clouds, make it a sunny day. We were out yesterday at the, when we were at the mall and I was like, oh, it's so sunny. And I'm like, if only we could be in the pool because the day before it was real cloudy when we were home in the pool. So hopefully it'll be a nice sunny day today. Look at that, okay, you know what? That's gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna separate these. So I'm gonna sit here with doughy hands. So this is gonna work, I guess, this dough. Could I have used my um, angel biscuit? I guess I could, but I don't really need to have them be risen. And I think that these are gonna be just enough. So, so that would give me about five. I'm trying to see if I can do like a can of biscuits, six. Yeah, I guess you get eight biscuits in a can, right? Okay, that works out about good. So I probably get seven, six, seven, eight. I get like nine from that one. Let's see how many we can get. So 
for the flatbread tacos, um, cheese is one of the toppings. I'm gonna shred some, so uh, we're doing good doing it this way instead of buying the shredded cheese. It seems to last longer, melt better, it tastes better. Like we don't take as much when we do bagged cheese, so I don't know, it works. Okay, these last ones are done. So this, oh, I'll drop that. Perfect, I have these right here. I'll let these cool and I'll probably put them in a bag. So let's go over to the stove here and make the meat mixture for mine. And I'll also get out my sour cream mixture. Let me go get some can of chili beans and um, pinto beans. My eggs and sausage came out. Those are done, my biscuits have not risen yet. So just not super warm in here because the air conditioning is on. So your meat here, I'm cooking my meat. I put that little jar of onions and peppers that I had in my refrigerator. So I'm gonna put some taco seasoning in here, homemade taco seasoning in here. Just put one packet in there. One or two pounds of ground beef. This is probably about two. And then what I'm gonna do is add a can. My original recipe just has pinto beans added to it, but I'm gonna add, I like the taste of chili beans as well. So I'm gonna add a can of chili beans and a can of pinto beans. This is a great way to stretch this meal because you can stretch it and make a lot of it. It's delicious. It's one of our favorites for sure. We'll see how they, they say the, the homemade biscuits work for it. I know in the recipe they talked about um, folding in butter into it and I didn't do that so we'll see how uh, how they do. So this is great. I made a little bit of water. Amazing. This is so good. So, so delicious. And then what else am I going to do right over here? Because I'm right here. I'm gonna, I got out my sour cream here. We do the lactate sour cream and everybody can enjoy it. And then it's just a package of ranch. I'm going to try. Can I pour it right into the container? I'm going to see my best. Pour this in there like a packet and stir it. these right here and this and cool and I'll put them in the refrigerator. Flatbread tacos are probably for tomorrow night's dinner and Saturday. For tonight I'm gonna do spaghetti and meatballs. I know we make this but everybody likes it so I might as well make it and then I like to do um, tortellini because not everybody loves the meatballs but I have a few that love the tortellini. So I'm gonna just make homemade meatballs here. Hamburger, I'm gonna put some breadcrumbs in it, about a uh, pound and a half. One and a half cups, I've got spices, like gar garlic and Italian seasoning, and then salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna add mozzarella, uh, not mozzarella, I'm looking at our recipe. Parmesan cheese to it, and two, I have three eggs, I'm thinking two eggs in me enough, and mix it up, roll into balls, put it in my pan, bake it in the oven. Break for breakfast. Does anybody else eat these, or is this just a weird, our family thing? <laughs> When I grew up, my aunt would, my aunt Sandy would take us camping, and the breakfast that we would have would be bagels, cream and cream cheese and salami. I don't know. We ate those all the time, like all the time. She got bagels really cheap. I think at the bread store or something. It was the greatest meal ever. So my kids grew up liking bagels, cream cheese bagels or bagels, however you want to say it. I'm North, I'm from Michigan, right next to Canada. That's how I grew up saying it. So it's okay. There's people up there that talk like me that do the same thing, and that's okay. So anyway. <laughs> This is my favorite little meal. My kids love it too. It's just so good. The only thing different I do is add everything bagel um, seasoning to my cream cheese. Normally I like it in the bagel, but that was like a lot more in price than a regular bagel. So this is breakfast. I see my fridge is open. And then we'll mix up the meat. The meatballs are in, and I always forget, 
And those spaghetti squash are so good with a little bit of pesto and a little bit of Alfredo on it. And I like forget to get them and then I saw them at the store. I'm like, ooh, let me have one. So I had dropped that one on the floor. I had a big crack in it. So I just did it this morning. So I'm like, it's good. It'll uh, it'll work. So I'm just put that, I put a little olive oil on it, put it up with um, the garlic and then turn it upside down. Bake it with the meatballs in there. It's gonna do its thing. Then what I'm gonna do is make some sauce, like a tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, obviously for spaghetti, and do a dish of tortellini. So for my sauce, I'm gonna add tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, spices, easy and delicious. This is gonna here, I always forget I have this, the onion and pepper and garlic mixture. So I have to like microwave it because I completely forget that I have it in there. So I'm trying to be mindful and use it up. So this is good onions and green peppers. I'm just gonna heat this up on the stove over here and then I'll add that on the meatballs. That's good right there. Let's do the tortellini. Tortellini is so simple. All you know you do, you add a jar, half a jar of pesto. We don't do a whole one because we have such a small amount that we do like us, I do have like us one small size bag. This is really hot, I had to microwave it. This was in the freezer. <laughs> so we just add this in here. We used to, in my cookbook, it has chicken in it and cheese, and that's fine too, but we find that they like the meatballs with this. It has a weird, isn't that weird? Basil has a weird smell. So they like this with just the Alfredo and the tortellini, and we put some Parmesan cheese. That's it, that's how they like it. So it's just evolved over the years. Okay, so I'm moving right along. So I've got the sauce, I moved the sauce over here in the oven. I was able to put a pan of the biscuits in. I've got my meatballs in there, spaghetti squash. I'm gonna start on the chicken fajita. This is where it just takes time. I like it on my smoker, but Greg has not installed the, I think I need a start. What is it, a starter? Like a flicker thing? I think it's a, no, a thermostat. That's what it is. I was like, the thermostat needs to be um, done. And so that just needs to get uh, put on. And that's kind of, okay. So I did these in the inside last time. And it worked. I did it on the middle thing, and I don't feel like it did as good a job as the pan. So what I'm gonna do is just put these on here. This is just the gross part. And let them fry and cook. It makes a mess. You have a big giant mess going on for a little while, but then you'll have delicious, delicious sticky to me. So it takes some time to cook that chicken fajita meat on the stove. It gets messy, it splatters, it makes a mess. So it'll be a good deep clean, which is my, isn't it today, my kitchen? It is, the first week. I didn't really do anything else, but I will be deep cleaning that off for this week. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm making a pot in the back. There's gonna be macaroni and cheese. I'm making box macaroni and cheese. Yes, I am. Because I've got some hot dogs, no buns. I'm gonna slice the hot dogs up and put those in there. That'll be lunch. And then I'm gonna make some um, cheesy broccoli soup. That sounds good. And so I'm like thinking about it. I have all that broccoli. I haven't even used it yet. I'm like, we have frozen stuff too, but I'm like, I might as well use up my stuff. For this recipe, you're gonna melt your butter, saute some onion there and garlic, and then um, add flour, you know, to make it like a paste, and then add chicken broth, and then you're gonna add your broccoli, and I'm gonna add some carrot in there. It's delicious, easy, and I got a package of cheese right there. I probably won't do all of it, but most of it. Those of you that cook chicken and it turns out dry, get yourself a thermometer because I used to cook it and I wanted to make sure it was thoroughly cooked because I didn't want any disease. And I would cook it so dry because I'd make sure it's super white and delicious, you know, make sure it's good, but then it was very dry. So like right there, I looked at it, I'm like most of it's 180, it only needs to be 165 degrees. So get your thermometer, get one of those, it's $10, $15 for a digital thermometer, get one, 
you'll be glad you did because it just takes the guesswork out of doing it. So this is going, We've got mac and cheese cooking, saute with soup veggies, we're doing great. Oh my goodness, I feel like deep frying when they're such a mess, but I'm thankful that this mess will be done and I'll get to clean all this up. So it is a mess for a little bit, but you know what? I saved a whole lot of money and I got to make it myself, which is awesome. So this is good. I add big chunks of broccoli. Basically, we're gonna let this kind of keep boiling and then I'll smash it down until it's ready. And then I'll add, let me slow it so it's ready. So wait, let's see if I can smash it. There we go just to kind of smash it down and get the broccoli in smaller pieces. Like when you go to Panera and get it, it's real watery and there's not that much broccoli. So I like to have like a thick, full soup. And even if you add gnocchi to this, oh, so, so delicious. So just kind of smash. It's fresh broccoli, so it's gonna be a little bit different than the frozen stuff, so. This is something I was craving. I'm like, probably soup sounds really good. I don't do too many soups all the time. But this is really good. So then this is great. And I'm going to add just a little bit of milk. My recipe has a little bit heavier cream in that. You can. I'm just doing a little bit different because that's just the way we like it. A little bit lighter. So that looks great. All right. Perfect. I'm going to have a big old cleanup. Add a little bit of milk. And then I'm going to add, I don't usually add all of this, but I feel like I can only use about half. And it's probably sufficient. There's a big frozen blood. Who's put the frozen blood in there? Let's do the frozen blood and see how that does. So, see the stove? Very dirty. I think someone asked, doesn't your backsplash get grease on it? And normally it never does, but I don't ever fry back there. Today I did. So this will be definitely washed. It just gets dirty. That's okay. This is the messy stuff. It's good. This pan blackens it a little bit for like a good burner mark. This does not. The cast iron, so it kind of cooks it more. So just get that good blackness. It just makes it so yummy. Just keep your temperature, your thermometer, and keep testing it. This is good. My meatballs are almost done. I think I had one that was a little bit not cooked. The biscuits are done. I'll be making my sandwiches in a minute. Hey, biscuits. What I did wrong this time was I need to put them closer together, and then they'll rise up better. They're still like lighter and fluffier than a biscuit would be, but I should have put them together, and then they get more like risen up. Does that make sense? But this is still good because I don't mind it being a little bit flatter. So I'm just going to cut this up. Put it between wrap it wax paper is breakfast sandwich it's delicious everybody likes it easy Okay, I feel like the kitchen is just a big giant disaster. I'm like getting there cleaning up. I'm like the sink is getting full of it. This is just full of grease, but I got all the chicken done. So that's sitting here resting for a minute. Meatballs are done in the oven. This soup is done. I put it in little containers over there and I've got myself a little bowl. It is so, let me, well, let me show you if I put all the croutons on. Look at how delicious. There's like a little crouton. Look at how great. Now you can go to Panera and you get this, but it's real watery. It does not have all those chunks and it is so good. I ended up adding all that cheese to it. I didn't add any shredded cheese. So, so good. So this is gonna be, you know, lunch since I just had a bagel. 
So I love the croutons. This is the greatest little croutons on soup. So I've just got a few more. Um, did you like how I cut my eggs and sausage? <laughs> it's all right. It'll just, like smush together. And then what happened was I made these for a while and then not everybody ate them. Well, then this last time around, everybody loved them. So I'm like, okay. So I decided to not put cheese slices on it so that if they want cheese slice, they can just add it to it and throw in the microwave. We usually do about a minute 30 when it's cold and then throw them in the morning and then that's done. So those are done. The meatballs are right here. I can pour my sauce on. Let me, let me get, look at meatballs right here. These are all good. Let me get my sauce over here. I had to laugh. I was in my refrigerator and there was a little container of bread sauce and I'm like, oh, there must be some leftover spaghetti sauce. And I was gonna open, or I opened it and I was gonna pour it in there and it was hot sauce. So I'm like, yes, no, I'm glad I checked that because that would have not tasted good. <laughs> so, gonna just pour this on top. It's simple, this will be for dinner tonight. And then when it gets closer to dinner, I will heat this with the pesto tortellini in the oven and I'm gonna make some garlic, like a butter and garlic, salt and Parmesan cheese and spread it on those, from those big loaves of white bread I bought. I'm gonna use that for dinner tonight instead of making more bread because I think I'm tired of making bread. I was gonna do some more. The only other thing I wanted to do, is that it? Let me look. I've got lunch, hot dogs, macaroni and cheese, that's easy, or soup, which I think they're gonna have hot dogs, macaroni and cheese. Soup for me, soup for the weekend. Breakfast will be these breakfast sandwiches. Dinner tomorrow will be flatbread tacos. Dinner tonight is gonna be pesto and spaghetti and then i know there'll be leftovers for things and we still have some leftovers in the refrigerator i wanted to do chopped subs i won't do that on today's video because i feel like you need to make that and eat it fresh so i'm probably gonna have that tomorrow or sunday when we go to the beach i'm thinking that would be good to do so i'm thinking i'll film it so i can show what it looks like when we do it but everything else i'm like it's gonna be done so i've got bread in the oven and my little squash thing in the oven finish up the sandwiches and then clean up my kitchen because it's feeling like very dirty and messy and greasy <laughs> from all this cooking but I did a lot of food today okay that soup is delicious oh my goodness so delicious so good all right so good okay what should I do should, well the chicken's kind of cool and I'm gonna chop it up let me make this bread for my bread take a loaf of bread this was a dollar marked down to a dollar cut it in half and then I'm gonna mix up in a bowl of butter garlic a little bit of Italian seasoning and Parmesan cheese and spread on the bread. And then we're gonna open up and bake in the oven tonight. Delicious, easy, delicious, simple. I thought my butter had been set out long enough and I was thinking it'd be nice and like smushable, but it's not. So I'm gonna just have to let it sit for a few more minutes till it gets room temperature and then squish it down better. See how these ones are a little bit fluffier? This is how they should be. Stick them closer together and they'll rise up like this. I did it with the other ones and they spread out. That's okay. <sighs> Do again, clean up. I'm like, okay, I have the chicken to cut up. I just shut the squash off and then I think I can be done in here, which is good. And then I will um, just start cleaning everything up. I won't show you all that. Um, and then um, I'll be free for the day. For the weekend, we'll do the chop subs. It's gonna be easy. Great Friday. in my kitchen I'm like I've got it you want to see all dishes all around so I'm gonna leave my sink open so I can scrub this down right here so I've got a lot of bags of chicken definitely sometimes they put more I broke it up into four bags last time like two big packages but I did a little bit less because we don't need as much chicken so I've got one two three four five 
six containers. So this definitely saves a whole lot of money than spending it. It does make a mess, mind you. We got a smoker cooking outside. I just wasn't able to do it in here. It'll just take me time and then I'll clean my stove. I'm gonna put these in the freezer. I just gotta take my spaghetti squash and take all the stuff out after it cools. I'm getting done. I'm, trying, I'm just debating, can I do another tray of popsicles out there? Which I'm hopeful for. So these go good in here. The only thing is if they kind of melt a little bit, it'll get sticky on there. No big deal, just rinse it off. This is good, these bags work really good. Just store them in your freezer. Spaghetti squash done, and then sat here and cleaned off the stove. Look at, that took about a half hour, but I cleaned all of it off really good. One of those jobs that you're like, yuck. Got it done. The oven, I've got those liners in there, so all I, all I had to do was rinse those in the sink. That was a really good thing to do. So now what I'm gonna do, it's one of those days where I'm like, I'm done in the kitchen. I feel like I'm done, I've got so many dishes done. But then Maddie came down joyfully, and Maddie loves to be in the kitchen. So I'm looking at her, like thinking about all the food we have for the weekend, I'm like, it'd be great to have some more cookies. And so those Mama Bell cookies were so good, and there's only maybe 10 cookies left. I know, that's how good they are. So I'm thinking, I've got to go do other stuff. I got like clothes to go through, a house to pick up. So Maddie is going to make more of those cookies today. And then I kind of organized the refrigerator freezer a little bit. I think we can get another tray of popsicles to start on our next batch. So she's going to do the dirt cup popsicles because those are delicious, yummy, good to get going and freeze in there. So we just got to keep the process going. Eventually we'll have a ton. So, but for now we're going to do chores. We're going to get everything done, clean kitchen, like starting from the beginning so she can start with that fresh. Okay, came back. Kitchen is all clean. Everything's wiped up. Dishes are done. I'm done in the kitchen though. I don't want to do any more thing today. I even stopped and got a coffee. Even though I can make coffee at home, I had a free coffee and I'm like, I'm going to get that so I can function for the rest of my day. So Maddie is going to make cookies. We're going to make some more of those Mama Bell cookies because they are that good. So it's the same recipe. Go to, um, it's just the Bells. I think it's just the Bells 10. I wrote it down last time. I call her Mama Bell because that's what it says on her thing. So um, delicious, delicious cookies. Maddie's cookies, they look great. All right, so Maddie's in there making cookies, finishing those up. We decided that we would just do cookies. We're not gonna do any popsicles. I think I'm tired with the day. She's tired of the day. It's already getting dinner time right now. I'm like, it's been a long day. I don't even know how the day got took, it made so long, but it did, and that's okay. So all we have to do is heat up the tortellini, put the meatballs in the oven when the cookies are done, boil some pasta, cook that bread in the oven, and that's it for today's dinner. So it's been good. She's got cookies rolling. They'll be done in a little bit. It's just been a great, it's been a good day, a busy day but a good day. So I'm looking forward to Friday, relaxing in the pool. I'm like, I wanted to get outside during the day today. It just did not happen. And that's okay, because you know what? There's always another day tomorrow. So you have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. 
and I will see you again tomorrow for Abundantly Blessed, and if not, I will see you again on Monday. All right, we'll see you again on Monday. Bye.